Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to talk about these two cases for your S21 Ultra. If any of you is considering getting an S21 Ultra and you're coming from a Galaxy Note, I come from the uh, Note 10 Plus that I've used for the last two years. Amazingly, for the last two years, because just because it is so good. Uh, I skipped the, the Note 20 Ultra and I went straight to the S21 Ultra. I didn't want to get the, the foldable phones because the cameras aren't as good and they just, I mean, aside from the foldable feature I think the regular like S21 Ultra is, you know, better and it's also cheap, cheap, uh, cheaper maybe I would say so if you're coming from a Note and you can't uh, let go of the S Pen, I know, I, I can't you're going to get one of these two cases, or in my case I got both I'm going to tell you uh, which one worked better for me and maybe this can help you in your purchase decision. Um, so should you get the Spigen S21 Ultra 5G Liquid Air P? So this one does not come with the S Pen. This one is really cheap. It, it costs only about $20, um, 20 US dollars. I got it for 20 Singapore dollars, which is like 15 bucks USD, which is really, really cheap. And uh, it is so smooth to the touch. It is matte, and it doesn't stick to your fingers like this one does and this initially I went with the Samsung case just because it, it, it included the S Pen itself and also um, it is the official manufacturer you know it's, it's from the official phone manufacturer right so you figure that the phone um, the maker of the phone would create a case that is the best suited for the phone that's what I thought and although I'm, I read many reviews about links getting stuck in this case it being very um, prone to you know smudges and stuff like that. I still wanted it because the the marginal cost of buying this case with a separate Samsung S Pen is very little. It was like ten or twenty bucks. So I, I thought you know well if this doesn't work out I can get this. And true enough it didn't work out for me. But let me tell you why. Um, so the one that I the phone that I have here is the S21 Ultra and as you can see I'm con I'm using it as a viewfinder. Uh, for the camera um, because I can't see myself in the um, flip up screen of the A6400 if I have a microphone attached to it so yeah it's useful for that but anyway which one which case do I have on can you guess this is Spigen it's, it's not the official Samsung case and the reason for that is this um, once you open the case up you're gonna find um, some literature Oops. You're going to find literature that you don't need, and you're going to find a bunch of S Pen nibs, which is useful. Um, that's great, but I've never changed the nibs of any of my S Pens before, um, having used multiple notes. Um, you're going to find this case, and this this case here, actually, uh, on first look, it is very soft and very nice to touch, and it's very grippy, so that's what I like. But once you put it on, you're going to find that the that the surface is raised quite a bit. So, if you compare the two cases, the um, Samsung case is a little bit narrower, but it is also a little bit um, thicker, because the back part is thicker. The reason for that is because the S Pen, if you take it out, it slots into the uh, side of the case like this. So. Mm, how can I show it to you? Like on the S Pen, one side is uh, thicker and one side is thinner. So the it, it goes in sideways. So the you you don't really feel the narrow part of it here. So it's this case is narrower and easier to hold, but it is thicker. Now, as for the other one, the speaking case, the S Pen goes in the side here. So the narrow side sticks out. And because the narrow side sticks out, it is a little bit more difficult to hold because of the width. However, the back side is thinner, so when you put it in your pocket, it is more comfortable. Yeah. And the reason why I prefer the speaking case, even though it's a little bit thicker, I mean not thicker, I mean wider, is because this one's um, poor uh, really quickly after I cut it. So I'm not sure if you can, if you can see it, but there is a scratch 
I believe. Yeah, I'll, I'll uh, there's like a scratch already. Um, I'll show you late, later. After a grand total of three days, I used it for three days, and a ton of lint got caught um, over here. So, yeah, I decided not to uh, use it anymore. I mean, I like using it, and I think it is really good if you use it with, say, like a smartphone gimbal, um, because the gimbal's arms don't have to stretch out that wide, but for everyday use, you want to put something in your pocket, you know, this side here is going to tear really easily. And let me just switch over um, to the um, first person view so you can see it better. Okay, so here I am again, and you can see that the phones are, I mean, the phone cases are side by side. And um, while this case comes with the S Pen, you can easily get the S Pen by itself and get the Spigen as well. And if you're living in a, in a region that the price is slightly cheaper to do so, I would say, you know, just go straight for that option. Just get, a, just, just get the S Pen, the S21 S Pen by itself and get the Spigen case because the Samsung case, um, you know, I'd read the Amazon reviews before buying it, but then I still decided to, to get it just because um, over here where I live in Singapore, it's not too easy to find the S Pen by itself. So the easiest way for me to get the S Pen was to buy the case that came with the S that includes the S Pen, which is why I got it. But yeah, thinking back, I think it's kind of a waste. And just look at the scratch over here. After three days, I had a scratch. Mm, I had a tear right here. And there's tons, there was tons of dust gathering in between the cameras just because um, these, like, these cutouts actually make it a lot easier for dust and lint to get uh, caught inside. Whereas this one, the cutout here is very clean. It's just one rectangle. I mean, yeah, one rounded rectangle. And there's, there's hardly any lint or dust getting caught inside. And it's a very, you know, nice, smooth, matte finish. And what I meant just now by the S Pen here uh, being wider is that because you need to slot it in with the Samsung logo either facing front or back, the thicker part of the S Pen will be jutting outwards. So it is a little bit harder to grip than if the S Pen were in here because let me just take it out right now. Let me see if I can do it one-handed because I need to hold my need to hold my phone here. So the S Pen fits in like this here. So yeah, oh right, I can do it one-handed. So here, this is this is how it fits in. And if you prefer a narrower view, um, sort of kind of hold, then maybe this case might be the case for you. It's certainly it's easier if you're putting it in, in, into a kind of a clamp or a grip, then you can get, you know, this one or you can get both like I did. Uh, but, you know, it's certainly something to consider. Um, the bottom part here, this part is very easy to tear, so it's definitely a lot flimsier than the one over here on the uh, Spigen case. So yeah, I definitely prefer the Spigen case. And if you ask me which S Pen is better, you know, just take a look. This is the Note 10 S Pen. This is the S Pen of the Galaxy um, S21 Ultra. Now you can roughly tell that this one is a whole lot more comfortable to use as a pen, as a stylus, right? Even though uh, it doesn't have Bluetooth functionality, but for me, I mostly use the Bluetooth of this pen to turn the camera, I mean, to control the camera. So I would like push it to you know, release a shutter or to take a video. That's the best thing, but Google allows you to remotely do that by saying, you know, cheese or hi or hello or something like that or smiling. And it just becomes like a, you know, an unnecessary luxury for me. So, yeah, I'd much rather take this pen to write. However, what I can say is that even though this is an all around better phone than you know, the Note 10, the Note 10 itself is a much sleeker and bigger package because the Note 10 has a bigger screen and you, you can really feel it even though this on paper is like 0.1 inches it has a much bigger screen in reality when you're actually using it and if you're talking about the weight this one is a lot heavier I mean it's a lot lighter 
and the S21 Ultra with the pen and case. If you're including the pen and the case and you're holding both of them up, this to me feels about close to 50% lighter than this one, which is why I, I still keep this. I plan on keeping this. I use it at home more often now, but I prefer to use it at home just because it is easier to hold and it's lighter. This one, I, I bring it outside and because of the 5G and also the, the I don't know, the, the pen and the cameras, especially the cameras, they are way better. Right, so if in case you're wondering which case to go to get to go with, and you want the S Pen or for the uh, S21 Ultra, go with this beacon. Um, that's what I can say, or or get both. Um, that's it for me. Let me know if you've got any questions or comments, and see you in the next video.